The Orlando Magic are in the most boring state of the NBA. They're not bad enough to get a high pick and like a Kate Cunningham or a Jalen Suggs. And they're not good enough to be a contender or get to the second round or even win more than one game in the first round. So what they have to do is either commit to a rebuild or to trade for a star. Now trading for a star in Orlando Magic is a lot easier said than done. Ain't nobody wake up saying I want to go play for Orlando. They'd rather just take a two, three hour drive down to Miami. <laughs> it's 15 times the experience. You know what I'm saying? And they are in contention somewhat right now. But the whole reason behind this is the magic. You know, we know who wins in this league, and it's superstars. We look at the last three finals MVPs. It was LeBron, who's the best player in the league. It was Kawhi, who was like a top three player in the league. And it was Kevin Durant, who was like the second best player in the league. All superstars. And even before that, Stephen Curry, when he won, shit, he was like a top three player in that league that year, too. At least in the playoffs, he was. So, it really takes a superstar to make a championship team. And I'm sorry, Orlando, but you can't be mediocre this whole time and expect to keep a fan base around. So, what they need to do is get rid of vets and valuable role players that they can get and they can trade for young players and picks and expiring contracts just something to benefit their rebuild whether it makes them lose more because they do need to lose more or makes them a better team so the first player they should trade is aaron gordon and this first trade it is will barton and ball ball for aaron gordon now i put bobo in there i would have done like will barton in second but the nuggets obviously they need some interior defense and just defense in general aaron gordon brings that He's also a pretty good athletic player, as we know. A lot of the times, there's always a cutter coming down the baseline where Jokic is, you know, doing his thing in the post. And that obviously be a great cutter, you know what I mean? Aaron Gordon's a dunk champion. But why I added Bobo is because the Orlando Magic said they're interested in Bobo. I don't know how many huge bigs they need. I mean, that'd be Mo Bamba, Bobo, Jonathan Isaac. Like, how many big, huge dudes do you need? But anyway, that's the first trade. It works for both sides. Um, the Magic don't get younger at all, but they get a young asset in Bobo. Will Barton is cool. They could probably flip him again for some sort of asset. He's had a down year this year scoring-wise. Uh, his efficiency doesn't look terrible, but it is very streaky. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll have a game where he shoots like 60% from the field, and the next game he'll shoot like 25%. The next trade for Aaron Gordon is him to the Timberwolves for Ricky Rubio, Jared Vanderbilt, and a second round pick and this is great for cat cat needs that interior defense with him obviously we know cat's not a great defender at all i mean he's become to the point where he's solid but cat needs help and if you do not make this move you risk cat leaving or demanding a trade sometime soon and the last trade for aaron gordon is to send him to the golden state warriors for kelly Oubre, straight up kelly Oubre, he's having a disappointing season at one point he was shooting four percent from three you know what I'm saying? That's kind of scary if you're a Warriors fan. But Aaron Gordon, he does bring athleticism and youth to this team. And they need that. Kelly Oubre, they move into the shooting guard. I just think, like, if you get Aaron Gordon, who's a power forward, who's someone that actually play good rotational minutes, because once Clay comes back, Kelly Oubre's minutes are going to dip a lot. The next player that the Magic need to trade is Evan Fournier. He's a good backcourt scorer. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's improved a good amount. But in the end of the day, it's kind of he's met his ceiling, and uh, he's gonna have, he's on an expiring contract right now, so you need to get him away for an asset at least. So the first trade is to the Boston Celtics for a 2021 second round pick and a 2021 first round pick. Now the Boston Celtics they do this so they can gain more depth, and you know that's always been one of their problems, especially like in last year's playoffs. But Marcus Smart been injured this year. Kemba Walker has been injured this year. Just somebody that can back them up because, you know, they've been somewhat injury prone this year. The Boston Celtics have had a weird year, to say the least. So this will give you a little bit of insurance for the guard spot. And the second Evan Fournier trade is to go to the Philadelphia 76ers. The Sixers will be giving up Danny Green, who's an expiring contract, been very streaky this year. Technically, his efficiency, his efficiency from three this year does not look terrible. But we saw how it came down in the playoffs last year. Very inconsistent. Became a walking brick at one point. He shot like 25% from 3-1 in one series. Very streaky player. They sent Danny Green in two seconds to Orlando Magic for Evan Fournier. This, green, this gives them more stretchability. It does give them less defense. Danny Green is a better defender than Evan Fournier. 
but they're not really worried about that. They have two DPO Watt candidates and Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. They should be fine defensively. And yeah, just another player to shoot, you know what I'm saying? With those two packing the paint with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, you know saying you got to put like 15 Seth Curry's out there. And that's that's about the closest we can get to it. And the last player they're trading is Nikola Vucevic. He's an all-star center and they need to get rid of him. His prime is ending. They need to splash out on a deal that can get him picks, a young asset, something like that. So the only trade I got for him today, I was going to trade him to the Celtics. I mean, the money was kind of weird trying to match it up. So we just traded him to the Hornets. You know, the Hornets, their future is now. They are the five seed in the East right now. LaMelo Ball is doing an amazing job. Gordon Hayward is doing an amazing job. Might as well just try and make a good team that might not be able to contend, but at least make the second round. Put some trust into your rookie. So this trade is Cody Zeller and Malik Monk and a first round pick to the Orlando Magic for Nikola Vucevic. Now, obviously, this fills the hole that they have at center. I mean, they've been running Cody Zeller, Bismack Biombo, like, you know what I'm saying, mid-centers. And I feel like a better center can really change this team a lot. Maybe even make them a top four seed in the East if stuff pans out. I don't know. I still got the heat over them. So, yeah, y'all, that is the video. The Magic, they're at the 14 seed right now in the East. They really need to consider tanking. Markel Fultz, once he comes back from his injury, you need to pair him with another good young player, too. You'll have John Isaac, Mo Bamba. You'll have a pretty damn good team when you tank. So if you could tank this year and get a good draft pick and try and get some potential in that backcourt, because, you know, that backcourt's always been struggling. Cole Anthony's been fine. But they need a tank this year, and uh, I feel like they should.